good dear students it is today do exercise 5.4 and in this exercise we will be doing the division sums okay so the question is divide and find the quotient quotient means answer so the answer of division is quotient fine so here the first part is 60 divided by 3 so how we can do that see this is the sign of division so the number written before the sign of division is dividend and the number after the sign of division is divisor so we have to keep the number which is before the sign of division here and the number which is after sign of division we have to write it here because we can divide we have to divide it the 60 number 60 by 3 so here we have a single number so here also we need to take the single number okay so uh, how many times we have to multiply 3 by a number to get 6 or a number closest or nearest to it so 3 to 0 6 now 6 minus 6 is 0 so when we have got the remainder here then we need to put an arrow like this so that we can bring the next number from the dividend right here to the right side of the remainder now when we divide zero by a number the quotient is always what zero this we have studied in the property of division okay this is one of the properties of division so 3 zeros are zero so here when you will subtract you will get zero so what is the quotient here what is the quotient that is 20 so this is how you can divide let us do the next part part 2 80 divided by 4 so how can we divide that 80 we have to write here as dividend and 4 as divisor now we have a single number here so we'll take the single number from the dividend so 4 Two zero eight right here. Then subtract eight minus eight is zero. Now we have got the remainder, so we need to bring down the next number from the dividend right here to the right side of the dividend. So let us bring down zero. Now we have to divide zero by four. So when we divide zero by any number, we get the answer as zero. So four zeros are zero, and when we will subtract, we'll get zero as the remainder. Now what is the question? Quotient this twenty, so we can write quotient is equals to twenty. Now let us do part three. Okay, it is eighty six divided by three. So how can we do this? Let us write eighty six here as dividend and three here as divisor. again it's a single digit because we are dividing by a single digit number so from dividend also we have to take single digit so uh, 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 and 3 threes are 9 if we will take 3 threes are 9 it will be greater than 8 so it means we have to take 3 twos are you can write the table here 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 3 threes are 9 okay now you can check which number is 3 threes are 9 sorry now you can check which number is nearest to 8 or equal to 8 can you find any number here yes 6 because 9 is greater than 8 so you will take either a number equal to or less than which is nearest to it not the greater one so 3 twos are 6 now let us subtract 8 minus 6 2 now we have got the remainder so we will bring down the next number from the dividend right here with this remainder now go through the table of 3 Three sevens are twenty one. Three eights are twenty four. Three nines are twenty seven. Twenty seven is greater than twenty six, so we will take three eights are twenty four. Now let us subtract six minus four two two minus two zero. So we have got the remainder as two, but we need to just find the quotient. So let us write quotient is. Twenty-eight. Now let us do the fourth part. That is four zero eight 
divided by 4. Now, how can we do that? Let us again write down 408 as dividend and this 4 as divisor. And let us start the sum. Now, 4 ones are 4. Now, let us subtract. We will get 0, 4 minus 4, 0. And the moment we will get the uh, we will get uh, we will get the remainder or we will subtract we have to bring down the next number from the dividend so it is 0 now we have to divide 0 by 4 so 4 zeros are 0 the quotient will be 0 here also we'll get 0 so the moment we got the remainder here the next digit will quickly come here okay now 4 twos are 8. Now let us subtract it. 8 minus 8. It is 0. So here the quotient is. What is the quotient? It is 1, 0, 2. Now the next part is part 5. 248 divided by 2. So let us divide. 248 will be the dividend. And this 2 will be the divisor. So 2 ones are 2. 2. We have to write just under the dividend. Okay. Now let us subtract. 2 minus 2 is 0. And the moment we got the remainder, this next number from the dividend will come here quickly. Now we have to divide 4 by 2. So go through the table of 2. 2 ones are 2 and 2 twos are 4. Right here 4. Now 4 minus 4 the remainder the answer is 0 and the moment we got the remainder just bring down this 8 here okay now 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 2 threes are 6 and 2 fours are 8 so again 8 minus 8 is 0 so what is the quotient here quotient is equal to 124 Okay, now let us do the next sum. It is 952 divided by 7. Now go through the table of 7 and see whether 9 comes in the table of 7 or not. If not, then go for the number nearest to 9. 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14. 14 is greater than 9. We cannot take 14, so we have to take 7. It means 7 ones are 7. Now let us subtract 9 minus 7. The answer is 2. And the moment we got the answer here, this 5 will just come down here quickly. Now we have 25. We don't have to divide this 5. We have to divide this whole number that is 25. Now go through the table of this 7. 7 ones are 7. 7 twos are 14. 7 threes are 21. And 7 fours are 28. We must go through the table till the time we will not get the number that is greater than the dividend which you have to divide. Now we have got the number which is greater than 25 so we will stop here. Now let us see which number we can take. We can't take 28 because it is greater than 25. So we will take 21 which is nearest to 25. So 7 threes are 21. Now let us subtract 5 minus 1. 4 subtraction will Will be as it is as you do earlier okay the simple subtraction now 2 minus 2 is 0 so we have got the remainder here so this 2 will quickly come down here and will take the seat so now the number is 42 so we have to divide 42 let us go to the table of 7 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 7 threes are 21 7 fours are 28 7 fives are 35, 7 six are 42. Now we have got a number which is equal to 42. So let us stop here. It means 7 six are 42. Now dear students, for doing the division sums quickly, you need to just know the tables. Okay, tables should be on your tips. Then only you can solve these sums quickly. Okay, now let us do the next one. First of all, let us write the quotient here. So, the quotient is 136. Okay. Now, let us do the next one. This is 927 as dividend and this 9 as divisor. Now, we have to first of all divide this 9. 
सो नाइन वन जार नाइन नाउ लेट अस सब्ट्रैक्ट नाइन माइनस नाइन जीरो द मोमेंट वी विल गेट द रिमेंडर द नेक्स्ट डिजिट विल कम हियर नाउ वी हैव टू डिवाइड टू बाय नाइन बट टू डज नॉट कम और डज नॉट अराइज और यू कैन से वी कैन नॉट फाइंड टू इन द टेबल ऑफ नाइन बिकॉज नाइन वन जार नाइन एंड टू इज लेस देन नाइन सो वी विल वॉट वी आर सपोज टू डू विल डू नाइन जीरो जार जीरो सो लेट एस सब्ट्रैक्ट टू माइनस जीरो इज टू ओके वी हैव गॉट टू एज द रिमेंडर सो द सेवन विल क्विकली कम हेयर and now we have to divide 27 so 9 ones are 9 9 twos are 18 9 threes are 27 which is equal to the dividend so we will do 9 threes are 27 let us subtract 7 minus 7 0 2 minus 2 0 so the remainder is 0 now let us write the quotient the quotient is 103 <coughs> Now let us do the next part. That is part number eight. Seven hundred and fourteen divided by six. Let us write here seven hundred and fourteen as dividend and six as divisor. So we have to take the single digit because we are dividing by a one digit number. So six ones are six and six twos are twelve, which is greater than seven. So we should take six. It means six ones are six. Now let us subtract seven minus six. The answer is one. So when we get the answer, the next digit quickly ran and just come and sit here. Okay. Now we have to divide eleven. So six ones are six. Six twos are twelve, which is greater than eleven. Okay. So it means we have to again take six ones are six. Now either you can just borrow. And make this one eleven, and then subtract six from it. Or you can simply subtract eleven minus six in whichever way you feel comfortable. So eleven minus six is five. Or you can say that you can borrow from here. Here you'll get zero. So this one will become eleven, and eleven minus six is five. So when you will get the remainder here, the next number will quickly come here. Now six ones are six. Six twos are twelve. Six threes are twenty-four. Okay. Six threes are eighteen. I'm so sorry. Six fours are twenty-four. Six fives are thirty. Six six are thirty-six. Six sevens are forty-two. Six eights are forty-eight. Six nines are fifty-four. Okay. So let us go through the table of six. Six ones are six. Six twos are twelve. Six threes are eighteen. Six fours are twenty-four. Six fives are thirty. Six six are thirty-six. Six sevens are forty-two. Six eights are forty-eight. Six nines are fifty. Four, which is equivalent, which is equal to the dividend. So six nines are fifty-four. Now let us subtract four minus four zero. Five minus five is also zero, and the quotient is one one nine. So let us write here quotient is equals to one one nine. Now let us do the next sum. That is sum number nine. Six thirty-five divided by five. Let us divide it here. Six thirty-five divided by five. So we have to just take this six, and we can see that five ones are five and five twos are ten. So ten is greater than six. So we will take five ones are five. Let us subtract six minus five. The answer is one. So this three will quickly come and sit here. So now we have to divide thirteen. So five ones are five, five twos are ten, five threes are fifteen. Fifteen is greater than thirteen, so we will take this one. Five twos are ten. Now let us subtract three minus zero is three, one minus one is zero. So this five will come here. And now we have to divide thirty-five. So five threes are fifteen, five fours are twenty, five fives are twenty-five, five sixes are thirty, and five sevens are thirty-five, which is equal to the dividend. It means five sevens are thirty-five. Let us subtract five minus five zero, three minus three zero, or you can say thirty-five minus thirty-five is equal to zero. So. Our quotient is one two seven one hundred and twenty seven. Now let us do the next part, part ten. 
नाइन जीरो फाइव सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एट नाउ लेट एस डिवाइड इट नाइन जीरो फाइव सिक्स विल बी द डिविडेंड एंड एट विल बी द डिवाइजर सो एट वन जार एट बिकॉज एट टू जार सिक्सटीन विल बी ग्रेटर देन नाइन सो लेट एस सब्ट्रैक्ट नाइन माइनस एट इज वन सो दिस जीरो विल कम हेयर सो एट वन जार एट एट टू जार सिक्सटीन सो सिक्सटीन इज ग्रेटर देन टेन सो वी नीड टू टेक एट वन जार एट नाउ यू कैन बोरो और यू कैन सिंपली सब्ट्रैक्ट टाइन टेन माइनस एट इज टू ओके यू कैन बोरो एंड देन ऑल्सो सब्ट्रैक्ट नाउ दिस फाइव विल कम हेयर नाउ एट वन जार एट एट टू जार सिक्सटीन एट थ्री जार ट्वेंटी फोर ओके एंड एट फोर जार थर्टी टू यू शुड राइट द टेबल और यू शुड सी द टेबल वेन एवर अंटिल एंड अनलेस यू विल नॉट गेट द नंबर इक्वल टू द डिविडेंड और नियरेस्ट टू द डिविडेंड ओके नाउ वी हैव गॉट द नंबर ग्रेटर दैन डिविडेंड दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सो इट मीन्स वी हैव टू टेक ट्वेंटी फोर एट थ्री जार ट्वेंटी फोर सो ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर इज वन और यू कैन से फाइव माइनस फोर इज वन एंड टू माइनस टू इज zero so this 6 will quickly come here now we know that 8 to 0 16 and when we will subtract 16 minus 16 we'll get the answer as zero okay so the question here is 1 1 3 2 so dear students i hope you would have understood all the questions which we have done today so out of 12 parts i have done 10 parts for you so you will do all the 12 parts okay 10 i have done so you will just go through them try to understand them practice them okay and you will do the remaining parts also on your own